Hello, this is Jetsu Seal. I'm going to be making a vi uh, a video about the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion Max settings. My computer is 2.5 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes RAM, and it's an onboard graphic card, <laughs> which is amazing because Oblivion is a very high detail game and requires a powerful graphic processing unit and um, my game settings are 1650 by 1050 and it's at ultra high so the view distance and textures are maxed out um, right now I'm getting around 3-4 frames per second you can see that and well I'm going to fly above Shadenal which is the city right behind me and I'm going to see how much frames per second I'll get the, uh, I'll get I'm using weapon, armor mods, and etc. I this the armor that I'm using right now. The above part is um, Assassin's Creed Oblivion armor, the dark one, because the, the 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 Dead Knight's armor. I don't really like it that much because it has this white veil in front of it, which covers the the the, the greaves, and I don't really like that. So I use this armor. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Right here. So you see it blocks the the greaves. I really don't like that. The weapons are part of the armor too. There there are other several there are several others like this. This is a lightning sword, two handed. They have a one handed and two handed versions. This is the other one, but this is cooler. <laughs> I guess. And this is the Dead Knight Sword. And where's the other one? The Flame Sword, the one I was using right now. And there's this this helmet that comes in different ways. Like for example, this is the one I'm using. This one it shows the eyes and the forehead and everything. This one just puts a mask above everything. So you could call this the full armor. But I normally mix it up, mix it because they give you various options. So, yeah. Now, where is my dragon? It's supposed to be here. I'm um, getting three frames second. I do not play at this at this um rate frame rate. I normally play at high 800 by 600. And that used to do the trick because it's. I used to get 20 30 frames. I intend on buying an ATI Radian 4350 or 650, I can't remember right now, 1 gig RAM. One. So I sup I will guess that it will be able to run this very good. I'm still fascinated that I can actually run this on ultra high. Yeah. It's crazy, but it's happening my dragon won't come up here won't come up because of the lag so four frames per second um and this is the, the the settings I'm running at. I modified it on Oblivion Ini. That's at my games. Then you my games folder to 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 give me a little bit for frame more frame rates. If I didn't done that, haven't done that, I would have get less frame rates, probably like one or less. And onboard graphic cards don't support anti-aliasing, so. I'm not using that right now, and I uh, it doesn't they don't support HDR either. But I'm running I'm using Bloom, which is a weaker HDR. So this is the max of the max I can get. 
terrible, I know. I was hoping my dragon would appear now. It looks like it won't happen. Okay, so... This is the Dead Knight armor, as I said before. You can get that mod on the internet, just search it up. I have various other mods, like the Assassin's Creed mod, the Dead Knights mod, the, the Hellraiser mod, the... Some other mods to... to do. To, to make my gameplay better because I would have pink water if I haven't put in a mod that allow me to see the blue water and the uh, Akatosh mod so I have various other mods various mods um I won't have time to show the whole of the map so I will be so I will only show shade and all <laughs> I'm getting four three frames second, unbearable. And um, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.